Hey guys, happy Thursday. Today's topic is uh, bacteria resistance to antibiotics. And this topic came up because MSNBC gave me a call. How cool is that? <laughs> and I talked to a reporter from there today. I think it's just gonna be on their website portion, so not quite that cool, but still, I'm excited. <laughs> and I, she wanted to ask me some questions about antibiotic resistance. So I went ahead and I've been really hitting the books and researching what's going on with this. And it's been a kind of interesting topic. So first of all, I just wanna go through what antibiotics do. What antibiotics do is pretty much twofold. They kill bacteria, and specifically, I'm just gonna talk about acne bacteria today. So they kill P. acnes, the acne bacteria, and they reduce inflammation. And that's something that a lot of people might not know as well about antibiotics. They reduce inflammation, so that's pretty cool. The problem is that they don't do their job all that well. <laughs> um, when you read the studies, they work for about 50% of people, and then they only work what they call moderately well. I've seen, um, I've seen a statistic of about 40% improvement in acne. Now, keep in mind that placebo is 30%. So we're just talking a little bit better than placebo. Um, I'm speaking about both types of antibiotics here, oral antibiotics um, and also the topical kind that you can put on your skin. So what I'm finding in this research is if I, uh, if I average in the amount of people in the population who have uh, resistant strains of bacteria in their skin, the average is about 50% of people, which is quite a bit. And some of these studies are kind of like just discussions between researchers, and they're getting really alarmed at it, and they're saying this requires urgent action and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure how worried I am, because if you look at the trend over the past decade, decade and a half, it kind of stays around 50% of people, so I'm not sure that the data is showing that it's increasing that much. But regardless, if there's 50% of us out there with resistant bacteria, I think it's something to be concerned with. So the science behind this, how this is happening, is these bacteria, one of the cool things um, that you gotta hand it to them that they do, is they're banding together and they're forming these things that are called biofilms, and they're these um, polymers, it's like these nets around themselves that prevents um, medication from getting into them. So, and I just think that's pretty cool. Nature is pretty awesome sometimes. Um, and they're also having genetic mutation in, inside the bacteria cell itself. Um, how this is spread, we're not completely sure, but scientists are suspecting that it's probably mostly from person to person contact. And that's something that I was surprised about. Um, I didn't know that you could spread bacteria or antibiotic resistant um, acne bacteria from person to person, but it sounds like you can. Um, although this is, this is science and it always changes, so I'm not saying that for sure, but that's what, they're, that's what they're hypothesizing at this point. So what do we do about this? Well, um, in pretty much, I would say three quarters, two thirds to three quarters of these studies, at the end of the study, they say, we recommend that you mix antibiotic therapy with benzoyl peroxide or with retinoid therapy, like Retin-A and Adapalene and stuff like that. Now, it makes sense to me why you would mix with benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria within 24 hours. Why you need to mix that with something that's antibacterial, I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, benzoyl peroxide pretty much wipes out these populations of um, resistant bacteria, so that's pretty cool. Um, retinoids seem to do it as well, although I haven't seen, and I've looked through a lot of research here, I haven't seen how retinoids help out with that situation. Um, also when you take Accutane, isotretinoin, that kills about 90% of the bacteria, but it still leaves 10%, which is quite a bit, so it's still leaving these strains around. Um, so that's what I learned about this stuff, just in my own experience. Um, I went on antibiotics, both oral and topical, and neither of them did anything at all for me. I know that for some people they tend to work a little bit, but I think there are much, much better therapies out there. And the regimen and Accutane, both of them worked way better for me than antibiotics ever did. So a little bit on antibiotics today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day, guys.